This is my friend Craig. He's an artist. One day Craig said he would show me all the things he does when he paints a picture. I usually start my day at around 8 a.m. An early start really helps me to get into a good frame of mind. After all, my painting is the work that I make my living from. I did have a job through a handicapped job agency once, but they wanted me to sell magazine subscriptions over the phone. A job like that tended to not make me feel very valuable as a person, because inside I knew I could do so much more. I also wasn't very good about selling magazines. My shopping for materials takes me to a lot of different stores. At first I had a lot of fears about dealing with so many people, but the more I dealt with the people, the easier it got. And now, since most of the shopkeepers know me, it's much easier to get the supplies and services that I want. I sure like the way that Craig goes to every place he needs to go. I guess what strikes me first about a location is how it makes me feel. I find myself drawn to old things, old houses and doors and barns. Those are a lot of the things that I choose to paint. The people who buy my work tell me that my paintings take them back to another time and bring back their pleasant memories. The first thing I do is to get a basic line drawing of my scene done. I usually cut out all of the telephone poles and power lines so that the painting will look a whole lot older. The first part I paint is the sky. This one will be bright blue because I want to use the illusion of sunlight to help bring out the details in the houses. The shadows come next, then the highlights. I use them to create depth and contrast. That's when you start to feel like you're really in the picture. The paper helps too. It's really rough and gives the painting lots of texture. I want the people that look at my paintings to sense that if they touch one of my paintings, they will be touching the actual wood siding on the houses or touching the trees or the earth. Painting is like a meditation for me. Sometimes I'll be painting and then suddenly realize that I haven't been watching out what I'm doing. I look down only to find out what I've done is just great. When my painting is finally finished, I have a lot of different options for selling it. Actually, if I like it enough, I'll just keep it for myself. Some paintings I give away to my friends. This one is going to a restaurant that I visit a lot. They've agreed to help me set up a show of my work inside. Hopefully people will go in there and want to buy some of my paintings. I like it when I can combine business and pleasure this way. So that's a lot of Craig's story. And if you see a painting someday that you really like, and it has this signature in the bottom corner, then you'll know it was painted by my friend Craig.